Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in sunny and romantic South Africa with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. Time flies when you're having fun. It is already February, the month of love, and that is why I'm wearing my red shirt, my red for the love month of February, and the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, a day to celebrate love and i know that love should be celebrated every day that is true of course it should be done but valentine's day is an occasion it is an opportunity to celebrate love in a very special way if i think of valentine's day and i think of love then i think of flowers and chocolates roses and chocolates those two words are so synonymous with Valentine's Day and love. If I add whiskey to the picture and I think Valentine's Day, love and whiskey, then six key words come to mind. Floral and fruity. Floral because of the flower aspect and fruity because of the sweetness of love. So floral and fruity, sweet and rich, and then also gentle and passionate. Those are the six sort of key words that I would associate with Valentine's and love and whiskey. Floral, fruity, sweet, rich, gentle and passionate. So, let me give you my whiskey and food pairing picks for each of those six key words and maybe it'll help you to organize a fantastic Valentine's evening with the love of your life. Let's start with the first one. Floral. The most floral whiskey that I've ever encountered would be Glen Grant, 18 year old. A wonderful floral nose on this whiskey and quite pleasant to drink. So if I think floral for a Valentine's evening, I would pick Glen Grant, 18 and I would pair Glen Grant, 18 with something similarly floral such as a rose water flavored Turkish delight. And if you can't get hold of Glen Grant 18, then something else like Ben Riach, 15 year old Tawny Port whiskey could work very well too. Floral. Fruity is the second keyword. If I think fruity, then I think Glen Fedek, 12 year old. A wonderful space side fruity whiskey. And also my wife's favorite, so maybe that's why I'm picking Glenfiddich 12 year old. If I want to organize a romantic Valentine's evening with my wife, I will have to include Glenfiddich 12 year old. A very nice fruity whiskey and I will pair this with something like, I'm getting confused with my hands here. Something like chocolate dipped strawberries. That is what I will pick for Glenfiddich 12 here. Let's put that one there. Glenfiddich 12 with chocolate dipped strawberries. Slanger. Just checking if it's really fruity. This will do the trick for sure. In two weeks time, Glenfiddich 12 will be included in the Valentine's evening that my wife and I will have. So, two keywords down. Floral, fruity with their pairings. Now we get to the sweet. For sweet, I will choose Glenmorangi, Glenmorangi La Santa. La Santa is the Gaelic word for warmth and passion so very very fitting and also some sherry cask maturation influence so quite a bit darker visually a very very nice fruity whiskey for valentine's evening and i will pair this one with italian kisses how fitting is that italian kisses with Caramel ice cream on the inside. This will be my pick for sweet. So we've got floral, fruity and sweet. <clears throat> Pardon. 
What about Rich? For Rich, I will pick Nika from the battle or Nika Taketsuru. That'll be my pick for a rich whiskey and a very, very fitting story behind it. Masataka Taketsuru, the father of Nika whiskey, and by some considered to be the father of Japanese whiskey. Because of his love and passion for whiskey, he went to Scotland in the very beginning of the 1900s to learn how to make whiskey. And in Scotland, he actually met a Scottish lady, the love of his life, whom he married and who went back to Japan with him, where he started Nika Whiskey. So because of his love and passion for whiskey, he found the love of his life. And I think it's just fitting that we include Nika for our Valentine's evening event. And this I will pair with a very romantic, rich chocolate dessert for the Nika. The fifth key word is gentle. If I think gentle, then I think tumentol. Tumentol. And it says here, the gentle drum. The gentle drum right there. So Tumintol 16 will be my next pick, and I'm running out of space here. Tumintol 16, and I will pair that one with a nutty or a fruity chocolate. Even something like a Ferrero Rocher. Ferrero Rocher chocolate will be the perfect pairing for a whiskey like that. Finally, the sixth key word, passion. Love can sometimes be smoking hot, smoking passion, and what comes to mind, Artveg Ogidal, Pete Passion. That'll be my last pick for a romantic Valentine's evening. A bit of sherry cask maturation influence in here as well with a wonderful smokiness, a fruity, a fantastic passionate whiskey. And I will pair this with dark chocolate, let me see if I've got a picture here, some wonderful romantic dark chocolates, or even fresh oysters. Wonderful! That'll be my whiskey picks and food pairing picks for the six keywords that I associate with love and valentines and whiskey. And I really hope that this will help you to organize a fantastic valentines evening with the love of your life. So I hope to see you again tomorrow because lots more whiskey tastings and food pairings to come. Slanger.